Hello everyone, I am Renal Zero. We are back again talking about SNK versus Capcom SVC Chaos features a trigger warning and a censored poster. Now they'll sit there and tell you, oh, it's not happening. Oh, Capcom's not doing anything. Oh, Capcom is in good graces, even though I feel like they censored characters or reduced proportions on certain characters like Cami in Street Fighter VI and got rid of outfits that were very exposing body parts we'll say like chest area and ass and all that stuff on characters like chun li and of course added the outfits back in later on things of that nature but we'll get into this article from that park place by john of trent as you can see the left side here is the american poster you can see that mai's chest is covered up this individual is covered up this is the japanese one you can see this area is not covered up and neither is this character here which is kind of funny that they, they they covered up the male over here too just to cover up the female here but let's continue here a poster has been censored and a trigger warning has been added to the recently released snk versus capcom sbc chaos which is a remaster of the 2003 arcade game which was shadow job for 20 dollars again not available on xbox it's a shame that Again, everything can't just release on every platform. X user Yogensha revealed that a trigger warning was added to the game, posting it to X. It reads, quote, This product aims to faithfully create the content of the original game at the time of release in, 20, in 2003. Uh, no error here. As much as possible, therefore, the content of this game does not represent the ideals of our company, but is provided as is respecting the original intent of the game and is not intended to promote or attack any particular ideology or group which is the message that is right here this is the person that posted it, it says snk versus capcom svc chaos disclaimer on buddha i understand having these disclaimers is better than censoring content not that it prevents it but being ashamed of what you created in the past never inspires confidence when you want to sell it to us in the same breath i 100 percent agree on top of the trigger warning, the publisher also sends out a poster for the game. The poster covers up cleavage of Fatal Fury and the King of Fighters, Mai Shirinui. It also crops out goddess Athena Asaimiya, who is wearing a bikini. This censorship occurs at the end of the English language trailer for the game. A side-by-side -side of the two posters can be seen below with YouTuber Vara Dark questioning, quote, a trigger warning alongside censoring key artwork. We saw a very similar warning on the Tomb Raider collection, where they promised not to censor content, yet they did. And this is the tweet by Var Dark saying a bunch of red flags. Code Mystics, the game's developer, made it clear on X that they did not censor any in-game content. Our community manager busy responding to forum posts this weekend. You know, the, the old Bart Simpson meme where you just repeatedly write stuff on the chalkboard over and over again. Code Mystics are also shared in a communication with Kabutus Rambo, the founder of the Sweet Baby Inc. Detectives team curator list, that it was not involved in censoring the poster and had nothing to do with the trigger warning can't of course fully believe developers it could be under nda the company informed kabutus rambo quote we have no involvement nor insight into marketing the company reiterated this on x while also revealing they did receive permission to make the trigger warning skippable honestly the trigger warning shouldn't be there at all because it's absolutely stupid Code Mystics wrote, quote, Honestly, we weren't told what it's specifically referring to, but the good news is when we were asked to add it, we got permission to make the disclaimer and logo skippable once background loading is complete, so you can now get to the main menu faster. Because of it, you shouldn't have added it at all. You would have absolutely made more sales by not having it included. I don't understand why people put these dumb content warnings in old games just to appease their overlords. Dureshi saying, what's with the ESG slash DEI message in the intro? Code Mystics was responding, honestly, we weren't told what it's specifically referring to. We already read that. Furthermore, they clarified the business arrangement that they have with the publisher of the game, which is listed as SNK Corporation on Steam. The company explained on X, quote, The publisher as owner of the IP hired the devs, us. The publisher signs off on marketing. We as devs have never touched nor often, never have even seen the marketing in advance on any games we've worked on ever. Uh, this person saying kind of sounds like bs if i would hire a marketing team they ain't putting anything out i didn't sign off on the dev surely said yeah that's fine to which they respond by saying you misunderstand the arrangement publisher as they want the ip hire the devs us we already read that while cold mystics denies being involved with the censoring of the poster as well as the inclusion of the trigger warning there's still a question as to who did indeed have the trigger warning placed in the game and censored the poster former world of warcraft team lead mark kern asked told by whom capcom or snk i'm gonna go with capcom on this one 
Capcom is the most likely culprit given its localization team made it very clear it has fully embraced woke ideology in a lengthy post on to X back in April. The post states, quote, what is localization? Embark on a global adventure through the lens of game localization. Beyond mere translation, we're diving into the art of culture, adaptation, preserving context, and inclusive storytelling. Join us as we unravel the intricacies that make games resonate worldwide. The account added, quote, localization isn't just about translating words. It's also about adapting the game for a global audience, which, again, it shouldn't do that because the audience over here, the fake audience over here, doesn't care about games. and just care about pushing the message. The message. Think culture, nuances, idioms, and re regional flair. The, a good lo localization makes players feel right at home wherever in the world they are. Next, they say they lost in translation. Nah, preserving the vibe is key. Jokes, references, and even gameplay elements might need a little cultural remix. No! Stop changing this old stuff. It's dumb. It's important to find that sweet spot to make sure players get the intended experience without feeling like something got lost in the process. Each language has its unique structure and cultural context. Our teams work to ensure the narrative and dialogue maintain coherence and emotional impact. It's not just about words. It's about capturing the essence of the story in a way that resonates with the target audience, the Capcom localization team wrote. The team then announced it was fully embracing wokeness with cultural sensitivity changes in characters and inclusive language representation, which is all nonsense and garbage. For cultural sensitivity and characters, the company wrote, quote, Character design and development must be culturally sensitive. No, it shouldn't. What may be acceptable in one culture might be offensive in another. Who cares? Localizers play a crucial role in ensuring that characters are relatable and respective, respectful, avoiding stereotypes or other references that can be perceived as negative in specific cultures. Again, nobody cares. As for inclusive language representation, it said, quote, Localization efforts extend to promoting inclusivity through language representation. This involves adapting not only linguistic aspects but also addressing gender specific language cultural norms and diverse perspectives it sounds like a bunch of dribble the aim is to create an immersive experience where players from different backgrounds can identify with the characters and narrative again if the characters are written well anybody of any race or religion should be able to relate to them if they like the character this can be very challenging for certain languages due to grammar calcom continued continue the post Quote, humor often relies on cultural references and wordplay, making it a challenging aspect of game localization. Translators must carefully navigate puns, jokes, and cultural references to maintain the intended comedic effect. And the only people getting offended are woke weirdos with blue hair. This requires a deep understanding of the target's, uh, target audience's sense of humor while staying true to the original wit. The post concludes with consistency in terminology. The, te the section reads, quote, Maintaining consistency in terminology is crucial for a smooth and coherent gaming experience. This applies not only to translating words, but also to ensuring that game mechanics, instructions, and lore are consistently represented across languages. Establishing a cohesive language system helps prevent confusion and enhances the overall gaming experiences for players worldwide. Mm, what do I think about this? Absolutely shouldn't be there. Trigger warning should be there. Censorship shouldn't be there. And I'm not supporting this game. So, I don't care. Continue to censor bullcrap because I'm not supporting it. I didn't support Paper Mario when they censored that. I'm not supporting this when they censor this. At the end of the day, they should just recreate the stuff. No changes. If you're going to bring something back that's old, leave it the way it is. Preserve the game. It's like how it was originally intended to be created. And that's it. That's all you need to do. And people will buy it. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Thank you all for checking out the video. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe for more content. Hit the bell for notifications. Set the bell to all. That way you'll get a notification anytime I go, go live or put out a video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.